Generally, SSDs come in three form factors, and it'll depend on your PC, laptop, or console as to which one you'll get. Let's check them out briefly. The first and the most common one is the 2.5-inch serial ATA or SATA, ATA or SATA, SSDs which are of the same shape as the traditional laptop hard drive which connects with SATA cables. These are very easy to install as well, but you might require an adapter if you have a larger 3.5-inch hard drive bay. The second ones are add-in card SSDs or AIC. These are much faster than the others since they operate with a PCI Express bus rather than SATA drives which will boost your gaming performance. The more rare ones are M.2 SSDs which more resemble RAM but are a bit smaller and have become very popular in super slim laptops of the modern days, but these are present in some desktop motherboards as well. Secondly, capacity. There are different capacities available for SSDs and the choice you'll make will impact the price of the SSD. But don't settle for something that doesn't cover your needs even if your budget doesn't allow it. Save for a better one. There are some SSDs that have a 128GB capacity, and these are pretty low really since just installing the Call of Duty Warzone on your device will take more than 100GB of storage. I'd recommend going to 250GB at the very least, or 500GB just to be safe. If you have multiple slots and need tons of storage, I'd recommend you buy two smaller drives rather than one large, since it will be way cheaper. Number 3. NAND Types the majority of SSDs are made up of NAND flash memories, but there are different types of it as well. There are generally four major types, which are SLC, MLC, TLC, and QLC variants. SLC variant is the best, as it accepts only one bit per memory cell and is faster, more reliable, and durable, which makes it also more expensive. MLCs are a bit slower since they store two bits to every cell and make the whole thing less reliable. TLC, we're going to the budget range now, and this SSD registers 3 bits to every cell and also decreases the reliability. In the end, you'll spot the QLCs which register 4 bits to every cell, and you know the rest. We're going to kick off this list with an exemplary SSD drive that has a very low initial cost, the Kingston A400. This SSD costs way under $100 despite having a 480GB storage room available for you. And if you look at the reviews, you'll see that it has gathered a large number of reviews that have praised its performance. Let's take a deeper look and see what else this one offers. It also comes in different sizes, including 120, 240, 480 and 960GB. The read speeds of the capacities are the same at 500 megabits per second, however the write speed differs and it is 320 megabits for 120, 350 for 240, 450 for both 480 and 960 gigabyte models. I should mention that we're talking about the 480 gigabyte version here, and this one as well as the others is made out of lightweight plastic. The Kingston A400 weighs just 1.4 ounces, making it a perfect option for laptops and portability. The company states that the drive is shock and vibration resistant, but I wouldn't be very confident about this based solely on the price. Just don't go knocking it around and you should be good to go. The Kingston A400 utilizes the TLC or triple level cell NAND memory chips that are pretty normal at this price, however some more expensive models use the same technology. The controller of the Kingston A400 is listed as 2CH and it's aimed at DRAMless users. The TBW rating of the 480GB version is 160GB, which doesn't tell us a lot about it, but it should be pretty good. In testing, it delivered the promised speeds, and sometimes it even exceeded those in synthetic benchmark tests, something that I didn't expect. To conclude, I can say that under $100, it's a beast of a drive. If you're searching for the best budget option that delivers a powerful performance, I would recommend the Crucial MX500. This is rated as one of the very best entry-level SSDs by many tech experts, and since it's released, it's become a fan favorite. It delivers great performance for its competitive price, 5-year warranty, solid endurance rating, a good software package, and a power failure protection that's one of my favorite features among everything else. The Crucial MX500 is powered with Micron's new 64-layer 3D NAND, which is one of the most powerful upgrades I've ever seen. This improves both the performance of the drive and the price as well. It also results in a 30% smaller form factor, which has allowed the company to yield more die per wafer, reducing the cost of the drive effectively. The company has also done some interesting improvements to the algorithms that improve the performance of how the data is distributed in the NAND cells, which is one of the most crucial things in SSDs. 
It comes both in the 2.5 inch SATA and the single sided M.2 2280 form factor. The SSD utilizes the SMI SM2258 controller, which is pretty old but has the low density parity check error correction algorithm that's enough for the 64 layer 3D NAND. The crucial MX500 comes in different sizes, but the 500GB version delivers the most for its price. You can also buy a 250GB, 1TB and 2TB versions. However, all of them rock the same performance specs with 560 megabits per second sequential read speed and 510 megabits per second sequential write speeds that are amazing overall. The random speeds peak at 95,000 to 90,000 read to write IOPS, which is also super solid at providing you great gaming experiences. It also has tons of other features such as the self-encrypting drive and full disk encryption that allows you to have a safer experience. Let's talk about one of the most advanced SSDs now, the Intel Optane SSD 905P. This is the one if you want the best and only the very best, and if you're a gamer that values speed, then you might be in the right place, because this SSD has super fast random read and write speeds which translates to real world performance, then again this is an enthusiast level option. The Intel Optane SSD 905P is a bit more advanced as it uses the 3D X-Point technology that's the secret ingredient of most high-end Optane products. The 3D X-Point, which is pronounced as Crosspoint, is the method that Intel and Micron has developed together for storing the memory in flash cells. It shares some similarities with other companies such as the VNAND, but it's not something that the company wants to explain to us. But we are happy with the disclosure since this drive is extremely good and it handles random memory requests exceptionally well and fast, which is all that matters to us gamers. Other manufacturers try to raise the capacity and deliver super fast sequential drive speeds which don't necessarily translate into real world performance, but Intel has sacrificed everything for the speed that matters for both gamers and multimedia editors. I should mention that the capacity of the Intel Optane SSD 905P is just 960GB, which for the price is very little. This might sound a lot, but for that price other manufacturers deliver 4TB, which is quadruple this one. The Intel Optane SSD 905P is available in two form factors, PCI Express 3.0 which acts as an add-in card, but there is the U.2 interface as well which works with the 2.5 inch form factor. The Intel Optane SSD 905P leaves little to be desired as it delivers a 5 year warranty and every day within the warranty period you can write 10 times the capacity of the hard drive. This is as durable as they get overall. While testing the files, read and write speeds for 4K files was 295 and 267 megabytes per second respectively. This is way better than anything out there by a landslide. Coming up next on the list, we have one of the most popular SSD drives in the market, the Samsung SSD 860 EVO. This is because the Samsung SSD 860 EVO delivers excellent speeds, adequate insurance and comes at a low price, all of which is attractive to gamers because the new graphics unit costs a fortune, as you know. The predecessor of the Samsung SSD 860 EVO was one of the best SSDs ever, and this one had a tough act to follow. However, surprisingly, the newer model delivered much more performance, speed and endurance that impressed everyone. This one here is powered by the 64-layer vertical NAND technology that's revolutionary. The 64-layer VNAND tech allows the drive to contain flash cells that are stacked vertically and three-dimensionally for more density, which also results in better speeds. On top of that, these drives use the MJX SATA controller that pairs with 2GB of LPDDR4 DRAM for the 2TB model to deliver better speeds and power efficiency. With all those specs and features, the Samsung SSD 860 EVO can deliver sequential read speeds of up to 560 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 520 megabytes per second, which is the M.2 SATA form factor. There's also the 2.5 inch drive version that delivers roughly the same performance, but there's only a 4 terabyte version in that form factor. The biggest improvement of the Samsung SSD 860 EVO is its endurance, which is more than quadruple of its predecessor as it has 1200 TBW. In synthetic benchmark tests, the Samsung SSD 860 EVO delivered a beautiful performance that impressed everyone even in the random read and write speeds. While the pro version of the same model is significantly faster, this one here delivers a serious performance for the price as well, which is what matters the most for gamers. On top of the list, we have the best gaming SSD for the majority of the users, the Samsung 970 EVO. This is our top pick because it has amazing sequential speeds that translate to random speeds, identical silicon as the 970 Pro, and a great price to wrap it all up. 
The price of the NVMe drives of Samsung have dropped significantly over the last few years. The Samsung 970 Evo comes in four available sizes, 250GB, 500GB, 1TB and 2TB, all of which are pretty affordable for what they offer. I should mention that the speed of the Samsung 970 Evo is also excellent, as it packs the fastest sequential read speed ever at 3,500 megabytes per second, and sequential write speed of up to 2,500 megabytes per second, which is significantly faster than the runner-up. This is mostly because the company has adopted the same 64-layer MLC VNAND technology that high-end devices of Samsung have. The previous version of the 960 Evo had a more affordable but slower TLC VNAND build, However, now both Pro and Evo drives come with a Phoenix controller. On top of all this, the Samsung 970 Evo offers intelligent turbo write technology that delivers larger buffer sizes of up to 78GB, which is great for faster write speeds, as the company claims it delivers 65% faster sequential write speeds. The Samsung 970 Evo also comes packed with a dynamic thermal guard technology that protects your SSD against overheating. The built-in hardware feature of the device also monitors and maintains the optimal operating temperature automatically. In addition to that, the heat spreader and the new nickel-coated controller lower the temperatures as well.